Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be trying some of the new in at Sainsbury's foods. Now, I was originally planning to do them all in one go, but there's a lot of food. And if I do that, um, potentially there could be quite a lot that goes to waste. So I'm going to film some of the items today and then um, the others at a, a later date um, and then just put them all together. So uh, there may be outfit changes, hair changes, setup changes. Um, and yeah, that's just so you know why. So first of all, I'm going to show you what I've got. So here we have all of the new stuff that I am going to be tasting. I'm pretty hungry, so let's get stuck in. So first up, I am going to try the Bonoffi spread. So I have my little croissant, all nice and warm. I don't like croissants when they're cold, so yeah, I always heat mine up. Tout le français, je suis désolé for what I am about to do to this poor innocent croissant. I know I said in my, uh, I think it was my muffin break video that um, I was picky on little a bit. So um, make it up to them now because in my opinion, they do the nicest croissant. Now I have made a note of all the prices of the things that I am tasting in this video and the price that I've noted is full price but some of them were on offer when I got them but I thought I would give the full prices so I like to put butter on as well as spread um, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing when I'm supposed to be tasting Bonoffi spread. It was two pounds and you may notice this is not the jar that I had at the beginning of the video. <laughs> As you can see, it is mostly empty and I have not been sitting here munching my way through a jar of spread. Um, I actually bought this jar before I planned to do the video, so I'd eaten most of it and it's it's so good, I just got another jar. So it's um, quite a runny spread. I'm not normally someone that likes spreads that much. I'm more more into jam and honey and I'd say it's kind of the consistency of a thicker honey so I cannot wait to try this all gooey and melty and buttery mm. Mm. So good. Mm. This stuff is amazing. It's not overpoweringly sweet and it's got a lovely banana and toffee taste. Mm. And it just works so well. I've squashed this a bit with the um, butter on the croissant. Mmm. It would also be good in porridge over ice cream or straight from the jar with the spoon. I am going to finish eating this, but I'm not going to make you watch me do it. So I will see you in a moment. So next up, we have these. And they were both £2.50. They can be eaten hot or cold, so I'm going to have them hot because I prefer cheesy things like this when cheese is all gooey and melted. Um, so yeah, going to go pop these in the oven. And then we have this Taste the Difference pizza. This was £4.50. So I'm going to go and uh, cook this and yeah, 
I'm hoping it's going to be as good as I am anticipating. So here we have the uh, tomato and mozzarella pastry and the cheese and bacon frittata. Um, I'm only having one of each because I currently have the pizza in the oven and I will be eating all of that. So I'm not sure how hot these are going to be, which is why I've got a knife and fork. So going in first with the cheese and bacon. That's the inside. It holds together quite well. Mmm. I've just realised this is my first experience of a frittata. It's really nice. It's got um, a really creamy, cheesy flavour. And you can taste the bacon as well. Um, I don't think I would like it as much cold. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, I like that. So... Moving on, okay, that's what the inside looks like, it's not, it's not stuffed with filling, um, and it smells very tomatoey, good crunch to the pastry, it's nice and light. Um, it tasted very tomatoey and quite creamy, so I'll see if it's any more cheesy in this bite. Not really. It is nice. Um, I definitely wouldn't eat this cold. I think it would be horrible, but I like my mozzarella hot. Would I get these again? £2.50 for four of them? Probably not. I mean, it's it's nice, but it's not blowing me away. While the pizza is in the oven, I thought I would give these a test. So these are a pound each, and we have a rhubarb and custard sundae. And and eat and mess someday. So this is layers of vanilla flavour mousse, strawberry sauce, strawberry mousse, cream mousse and meringue pieces. And this is layers of vanilla mousse, rhubarb sauce, custard mousse and biscuit crumble. So I will go in first for the eat and mess. Uh, well there's quite a, a generous amount of meringue pieces there. Try and get all the way down to the bottom. Have I managed to get a sauce? I have. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that's creamy. The meringue is not crunchy at all. It's very soft, which is disappointing. It's got a lovely strawberry flavour. It's really, really creamy. And the meringue comes through at the end with just like a little sweet hit. It is nice for a pound. I mean, yeah, it's a nice dessert. So let's try rhubarb and custard. Ah, so the biscuit crumble is on the top. Don't know why I thought it would be on the bottom because you can clearly see there's no biscuit at the bottom. Um, I think it's because I've got cheesecakes on the brain. Um, oh, I'm so glad I'm not trying to eat this with a teaspoon. Okay, I managed to get a bit of everything again. Hmm, that's nice. Again. Like with the meringue in that one being soft, the biscuit tastes a little soggy. It's got a lovely creamy custard. I'm not getting a lot of rhubarb. It it tastes mainly of custard. It's a nice dessert, but I wouldn't say it's anything special. I'm going to be trying this Rora D 
dairy honey flavoured yogurt, which was one pound. Now, I think this might actually be a Scottish thing. Um, so it may not be available wherever you happen to be. Let's have a proper spoonful. It's quite a runny yogurt. I thought it was going to be thicker. Even though it's honey flavoured, it's actually not sweet. It's got that, I want to say kind of almost sour taste that live yogurts tend to have. And then afterwards you get a bit of a honey flavour coming through, but it's, it's not a particularly strong flavour and it, yeah, definitely not sweet. I'm not sure I'd get this again. There are other flavours, they do raspberry and then they have big pots and there's a fudge one, which I would definitely try, but I didn't want to get a big pot for this video. I cannot tell you how good this pizza smells. I love thin crust pizzas. Um, it's very hot. I've got to try not to burn my mouth. I'm gonna go for a slice that's got like a fair amount of cheese and some onion on it to try and get a bit of everything. You can see <laughs> very thin base, very light. Mmm. That is a good pizza. Um, it's really creamy and really cheesy. Mmm. <laughs> And it's nice and crisp, but soft. Mm. It is a really good pizza. I definitely would get this again. I'd probably add mushrooms to it because I love mushrooms. And I, I'd get it when it's on offer because Sainsbury's quite often have these pizzas on offer for £3.50 instead of £4.50. Mmm, yum. Definite double thumbs up for this one, Sainsbury's. I think that's all I'm going to film for today. I am going to demolish the rest of this pizza. New day, new outfit, more new food from Sainsbury's. Here I have cake and biscuits, but not just any cake and biscuits. I've got the box here. So it's a passion fruit and coconut cake. It's described as coconut sponge layered with passion fruit jam, topped with passion fruit buttercream, decorated with passion fruit jam and toasted coconut. And the uh, price of this, full price, is £4. Here's a bit of the coconut flakes. For some reason, on my cake, um, all of the coconut flakes were on like one quarter. So I have redistributed them a bit. So I'm just going to take a bite and see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. It's nice. It's fruity and I can taste desiccated coconut in it. It's not really coconutty, it's, it's good. I'm not sure I would say it's worth four quid. Um, it was an offer when I got it. It's a nice cake and for summer it is something a bit different. Just gonna have another bite. I'll see if I can get some toasted coconut this time. In fact, I'll just move a bit through the end. Oh, I'm so sticky. Mm-mm, mm-mm. The toasted coconut, it, it doesn't make any difference. It does not enhance the cake. It just adds something that's a little bit chewy to the texture and nothing to the taste. 
these biscuits, summer edition cherry bakewell shortbread. It's all butter shortbread with glacé cherry and almonds. So you can see there's the cherries. It definitely smells of almonds really strongly. I'll make sure I take a bite with the cherries. Hmm. And the cherries are chewy. It does taste almondy. Does it taste of Bakewell? I'll have another bite and see. Good shortbread. I suppose it it it's reminiscent of Bakewell. I wouldn't say it's instantly recognisable as Bakewell. Uh, these are where are they? Two pounds a box, and you get eight of them. They're nice, and they're something a bit different. Um, yeah, I mean, I will eat the whole box. So. They are quite good. I'll just finish this and then move on to the next thing. Next up, I have these two summer edition chocolate bars. There's the Eaton Mess and Lemon Meringue Pie. These are both £3.20. Um, so we have a Lemon Meringue Pie chocolate slab, which is milk and white chocolate, lemon flavoured swirl, finished with meringue and biscuit pieces. Let's break into this bad boy. I don't love lemon, but I thought I'd give it a try. And that's half the point of doing a food video channel is to try new things. So it is a reasonable thickness. I wouldn't say Oh, it's, it's actually in chunks. I'll try and turn it over without flipping all the meringue everywhere. So it is actually in chunks, which I was not expecting. So that will make it a bit easier to taste. Oh, if I can break it apart. Oh, okay. They're breaking like that then. That's got a bit of everything on it. So give it a try. I can taste the lemon. It's um unusual. I'll put it that way. If I'm honest, it's really not doing anything for me. I think it would actually get quite sickly after a while. The meringue bits are crunchy. The lemon, you can taste it, but I just find it a bit weird. And it might just be because I'm not a fan of lemon. I wouldn't get that. I wouldn't recommend that one. So I'll move on to the e Eaton Mess, which fingers crossed will be much nicer. So it's a white chocolate slab, strawberry flavor swirl, finished with meringue and berry pieces. I'll edit out the bit where I'm struggling to open the box. So this is what we have. And again, it's it's got the, the chunks on the back. It's actually, this bar's a bit weird because it's thicker at one end than the other. I'm not complaining, it means more chocolate. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. This is much more like it. The strawberry flavour is delicate and it's nice. I don't think I could eat the whole bar in one sitting because it is very sweet. It definitely beats that lemon meringue one hands down. Mm. Before I move on to the final edible item, I am including this extremely cute Daisy Jute bag, which was £2.50. I know it's not food, but I just think it's so pretty and happy looking and I had to get it and I thought I'd include it. So, final item. Raspberry Ripple Ice Cream. I've had this out of the freezer for a while, so I'm hoping it's soft. Or at least I'm hoping I can get my spoon through it. 
So it's got a good raspberry swirl. I am just going to eat it straight out the tub because I'm the only one that's going to eat it and it saves on washing up. Mm. I wasn't expecting to have to chew it. <laughs> That's the um, the raspberry swirl that's making it chewy, I think. So this is £2.50. It's nice, but it's, it's raspberry ripple ice cream. I mean, it's a nice creamy vanilla ice cream and the raspberry is tangy, but I wouldn't say that it's something to rush out and buy. Um, it's not blowing me away. So that brings me to the end of my new in at Sainsbury's. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and share this with anyone you think might like it. There's a little notification bell if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. I am currently just uploading once a week on a Sunday at about 6 p.m. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you want, on Kaz Loves Cakes. If you want to leave a comment down below, it would be lovely to hear from you. I'm going to go stick this back in the freezer, polish off the rest of that cake and that other biscuit, and I will see you next time. Bye!